channel today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this beautiful cut crease with lipstick instead of glitter glue so I hope you're ready to sit back and watch and enjoy and make sure you guys leave some comments below let me know how you like this look and be sure to subscribe because you know you want to be down with the love squad and know every time I drop some new heat yeah so stay tuned skin is thirsty so just start off with some um setting spray some dewy setting spray from absolute okay, i'm gonna be using glam go illuminizing moisturizer it has like a little glow in it this one out. I hope it's not too ashy. I tried it on the back of my hand and it looked okay. But it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it smell like it smell like peach cake or like I don't know. It smell like I need to eat. Yeah, my skin is like extremely dry so I'm gonna be using a moisturizer and I'm also gonna put oil on top because my skin is like extremely dry my skin was acting up so I did do uh, a sea moss mask on my face Tip oil that you can use on your skin and your hair. Any type of essential um, rose hip oil is going to be really good for your skin. If you have a dry skin, don't get me. And it's also good for people that have like oily skin if you ever, um, because you do have to still hydrate and moisturize your skin even though you have oily skin. It's very light, so you can use it even if you get oily. the May Ipsy bag is the Tarte C um, Jelly Lip Glaze. It's a lip anytime lip mask, so I'm gonna use this on my lips while I do the rest of my face. So, you know, my lips can be hydrated by the time I get to those. Mm. It's very, very thick. Yeah, it's definitely thick. I probably use a little bit too much, but you only need like a half a drop for this stuff. Is mm. But it feels really good. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have any taste. I don't know if I was supposed to taste it. Does it smell good? Yeah, it does smell good. But it doesn't have a taste though. So here you see I have colored my brows with um, using a purple eyeshadow. I did that to match the color of my wig. If you guys want to see a color brow tutorial, um, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do a detailed color brow tutorial. There are um, many different ways you can get color brows so yeah, just drop a comment and let me know. Bring that 
down a little bit and blend it out. Alright, just going back in and adding a little concealer um, onto my eyelids. I'll set this with um, setting powder after I blend it out, but this is going to be like my eyeshadow base since I'm using such fun colors today. I'm just going to take that same blending brush that I use for my eyebrows and you know, just blend that bad boy out. I'm just using a little translucent powder from um, Co to go ahead and set this. I did use it in the um, the lighter powder because you know I don't want to be used to the dark brown because it would be too dark. The next star of the show for my Ipsy bag is this beautiful brush from Farah. It's a beauty, um, it's a blending brush. So I'll be using this to do my eyes. I'm gonna be using the slushy pack from um, the House of Glitters. It's a neon pigment pack. I'm gonna start with this neon color. Ooh. So let's see how this turns out. glitter if you didn't know that um this is like some kind of glitter package i don't even know like where i got it from but i had it for i think i got it for nails but you know i never really pursued it i'm gonna be i think using this one and probably like some of these i don't know something between these but i just kind of want to do like a glittery a glittery cut piece i'm excited Alright, so today I will be using lipstick to cut my crease or to make my um make everything stick. This is one of my favorite methods of um, applying glitter on your eyelids. When you use the eye um you don't have to use glitter glue, you can just literally use a lipstick. You can use it directly on your eye or use a brush. I like to use a brush because you have more control. But you just put down the lipstick in whatever shape on your eye that you want. And you literally just press the glitter into the lipstick. Like, that's it. And it lasts all day. Like, the glitter didn't come off. I didn't have to worry about any transferring. And just be mindful of the color of the lipstick that you use. You might want to use something that um, won't affect the color of the glitter that you're putting on. your lipstick in place where you want it to be you can take a brush and just press the glitter into the lipstick I'm taking a flat brush um, I'm using a smaller brush so that I can put it be precise with where I'm putting it um, you can use a larger brush if you want I just wanted more control so I use a smaller brush but as long as it's flat, it should be, you shouldn't have a problem pressing in the glitter. Our next May Ipsy 
Lucky Star is this Fierce Flicks um, eyeliner. We're gonna see how good this works on top of glitter. This is from Ciate London. Makeup. I'm going to start with correcting under my eyes a little. I do have dark areas under my eyes, so uh, I'm messing on my eyeliner now. So along with the shade Fawn from um, LA Girl Pro Concealer, I also like to use the orange to conceal under my eyes. The reason I use the orange is because under my eyes, um, it's kind of purplish. So I use the orange as a color corrector. So orange and purple cancel each other out on the color wheel. I could have did the opposite, did the orange and then did the concealer on um, the other color, but it doesn't matter either way. And I also use down here, like around the edges of my corners of my mouth, where it is dark. So yeah, like I was saying, orange and purple cancel each other out. So that's why I'm using orange. If you are gonna um, use a color corrector, be sure to set it before you do your makeup because otherwise you're gonna wind up mixing the colors together. So the next item I'm gonna be showing you is the Space Case Cosmetics Intense Stargasm Eyeshadow. And I didn't really use it in my look, but here it is. So this is what color it is. Um, it doesn't really go with my look. But let's just see what it looks like on my skin. Mmm. Kind of sh Okay. Kind of shiny. Alright. It's a highlighter that might be, uh, it might give me a little ash. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it under my foundation. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it under my foundation. I'm a little bit sad. I ordered two foundations from Wet n Wild and I ordered Toffee and I ordered Coco and neither one of these is my shade. Like I hate ordering makeup online because how can you color match online? This is like my shade but it's empty so you see the difference? Um, this is even my shade so, I mean, but this is also empty. So I, right now, am gonna have to, we're gonna have to finagle something. Um, yeah, we gonna make this work though. I'm gonna make this work. One thing I didn't like about the foundation is that I had to use so much. Like I put a lot on and then I had to go back over it. And I didn't like the finish either. It was kind of like, it wasn't matte or dewy. It was just kind of like, I don't know. Going in again with my LA Girl Pro Conceal to do my highlighting. This is like my favorite concealer ever, and it's cost effective and it's available right now. Hey 
guys so everything was it came out pretty light i mean it's different in my skin because of the undertone so i'm gonna go in with this kenya shade and do some contouring on my skin and then i'm probably gonna yeah i'm probably gonna add some um of the morocco as like a, a bronzing bronzing kind of color just to add like some color back in because as y'all can see this is, is not my color but we're just gonna make this work sometimes you gotta work with what you got you know and that's what we doing today setting powder but you know what I don't think I need it because I use so much powder on my face and I'm already dry skin I already have dry skin so I don't want to use too much so I'm gonna be using the um black light highlight color palette from BH cosmetics um I think I'm gonna go with the pink one it's called on point yeah, cause I don't know. I don't really know about gold today, but ooh, yeah, that is bomb. Yes, though. Y'all like, see that? Oh, <laughs> yo, that went on like butter, though. Mmm, mmm. Mm, okay, okay. Some Sephora's don't sell BH cosmetics anymore. Like, doesn't it like suck? I love BH cosmetics and I love Sephora. Like, can y'all get back together? Yeah, I'm loving this on point. It's really on point. And it's like I'm building it up. Could do it lightly, like I really like this highlighter. I don't think I've ever used that color before because I'm not really in love with it. Mmm, mm, could they glow? Okay. So I think for lips, I'm gonna use that first purple that I had before to use on my eyes. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't even, the name rubbed off on it, so I don't even know where it came from. Wait, I'm using that color on my lips. I'm gonna do like an ombre. Butter lipsticks. 
All right, y'all. I think she about ready though. Like, not serious. She about ready. Let me just go throw on some lashes real quick. Throw on my wig, and your girl be right back. All right, guys. So today's lashes are coming from I Envy. These are the style. Oh, there's no name, but yeah, I'm wearing these. Thank you. I'll be right back with my life. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, and here's my review on this month's Ipsy bag. The bag was really cute, a little makeup pouch. Um, the only thing I didn't use was the this. It's a Mark Anthony's True Professional 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. It's a leave-in conditioner. I didn't want to put that on my wig, so I didn't use that. But yeah so um i did use everything else in the bag though i used this um space case intense stargasm i use that like under my underneath my foundation as like a highlighter um it was a little shimmery it's very pretty um i just didn't use it on my eyes because it didn't go with the look the fierce flicks oh my god i love 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 this pencil because it went over the glitter like so easily like it didn't pull the glitter sometimes when you put glitter on and you try to use like a eyeliner a wet liner it, like it drags the glitter like everything stayed in place and went right over it so yes this fierce flicks um by Ciate london i will definitely be copying more of these um the fairer brush would work beautifully i just love the color it looks really pretty but yeah, the bristles were very soft. It's a very nice brush. I like the, you know, the weight of it. And last but not least, my favorite item out of everything, I think, probably a tie with the Fear Flix, but the Jelly Glaze by Tarte. Yeah, like this is like a holy grail. It's called, this is the flavor of strawberry jelly. It's a lip mask. Oh my goodness, like my lips were like so moist. Like they weren't sticky. You know how you put something on your lips and they get like sticky? Um, I love this jelly glaze because it was like just so smooth and like buttery and I love it. And it didn't, I thought it was thick at first, but it wasn't too bad. Like it just really hydrated my lips, like, like deeply hydrated, like. You know how you put lipstick on or something sometimes and it makes you like your lips peel? This was like the complete opposite. It's um it's an anytime lip mask and I will definitely be getting a full size one of these. This is my um Tarsi. So yeah, that's my review on this month's Ipsy bag. Can't wait to get the next one. And I hope y'all like the look. <laughs>